This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at amphiprotic species. So let's start with a definition. An amphiprotic species is a species that can act as both a Bronsted-Lowry acid and a Bronsted-Lowry base. Here are two reactions which we've looked at in detail in previous videos. In the first reaction, water is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base by accepting a proton from ethanoic acid. In the second reaction, water is donating a proton to the ammonia, acting as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. So in the first reaction, water is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base, and in the second reaction, water is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. Therefore, water is an amphiprotic species. An amphiprotic species must be able to donate a proton and also be able to accept a proton. Therefore, it can act as both a Bronsted-Lowry acid and a Bronsted-Lowry base. So next we look at more examples of amphiprotic species, with the first example being HCO3 negative, which is the hydrogen carbonate ion. In the first reaction, the hydronium ion donates a proton to the hydrogen carbonate ion, which forms carbonic acid. In the second reaction, the hydrogen carbonate ion donates a proton to the hydroxide ion, forming the carbonate ion. So in the first reaction, the hydrogen carbonate ion is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base, and in the second reaction, as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. Our next example is the hydrogen sulfate ion, which is HSO4 negative. So in the first reaction, the hydrogen sulfate ion is accepting a proton from the hydronium ion. By gaining a proton, the hydrogen sulfate ion forms sulfuric acid. In the second reaction, the hydrogen sulfate ion is donating a proton to the hydroxide ion. This forms the sulfate ion SO42 negative. So in the first reaction, the hydrogen sulfate ion is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base, and in the second reaction, as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. And our last example is the dihydrogen phosphate ion. So in the first reaction, the dihydrogen phosphate ion is accepting a proton from the hydronium ion. And in the second reaction, the dihydrogen phosphate ion is donating a proton to the hydroxide ion. So in the first reaction, the dihydrogen phosphate ion is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base, and in the second reaction, as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. So here we have three examples of amphiprotic species which are able to act as Bronsted-Lowry acids and Bronsted-Lowry bases. So finally, we look at the difference between the terms amphiprotic and amphoteric. As we've just seen, amphiprotic refers to any species that can both accept and donate a proton. The term amphiprotic is used exclusively in the Bronsted-Lowry theory of acids and bases. The term amphoteric refers to any species that can act as an acid and a base. All amphiprotic species are also amphoteric. The difference between the terms is that amphoteric can be applied to different theories of acids and bases. For example, the Lewis theory of acids and bases, which does not involve proton transfer. So to summarize, the term amphiprotic is used only in Bronsted-Lowry theory, whereas amphoteric can be used in all theories of acids and bases.